Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dead Rising 2 Off the Record with me, Corky, here on Corky Plays on the Corky's World channel. Last time we left off, we had just confronted the madman who had blown up the holding cage of the TIR Terror's Reality Zombie Game Show. He had lost his mind. He thought the only way to help zombies was feeding them humans. Mm -hmm. Just having humans set aside to go into the slaughter for these zombies, and that's the only way to be truly humane. Which, uh, which is nonsense. So, the next case is Case 31, Confronting Cure, and the timer hasn't started ticking on that yet, so what we're going to do is go ahead and knock out some of these rescue missions. So, the first will be Art Appreciation. The goal, investigate the art gallery. The destination, Claro Collection. A guy was seen crying and staring at art in the Palisades Mall. I should check it out. So, here we go. Little, little behind the scenes for you guys. I haven't played this in like a few days. <laughs> Money cases can be thrown to get money out of them. So we're a little bit a little bit better off. We have a gun and a spike bat, it looks like. Oh, I forgot this took place in the Uranus Zone. In the second, in the original Dead Rising 2, that mission takes place in between the arena and... The arena and, I believe, the Americano Casino. And the bathroom is under construction, so that's that's where it takes place. They switched it to this one, as I said in the last episode, because I feel like it was a way to actually get you into this area without telling you, you know, too much about it. So how are you guys doing? How's everyone at home doing? Hope you guys are doing okay. Let me know in the comments. Find me on any Instagram, Twitter, Facebook feed you can find. Just let me know. Make sure, make sure I know you guys are doing all right. It has been a minute since I've played this, so I didn't realize I was that close to death with no food. Otherwise, I probably would have grabbed something from the snack stand. Cause that'll be a super bummer if not even five minutes into this episode and I die because one of these zombies sidelines me. Get in the door. Whew, close. <laughs> at the uh, at the beginning of this channel, I thought I was going to do face cam, and then editing it turned out to be way more hassle than it was worth, so I dropped it. But where I had the camera set up, ooh, security box key, I couldn't see my health bar, so... All right, level up. Health increased. New skill move acquired. Oh, I was, uh... Beer makes something. I was hoping for another storage slot, but this'll do. We'll take that handgun. And we'll just run and gun our way through. To the art appreciation mission. Ooh. Hell of a shot. Not even a little. Bam. Oh, God. I can't wait to go uh, go back over this and see me just being terrible right off the bat. Let's get back to the bat. And the jump kicks. I wonder what the, uh, what the other move I earned was. Nighttime, so you can see everyone's red eyed. I'm wearing the fireman outfit because that's what we left off in. God, it's so red from blood. That's what we left off in in the last episode was I put on the fireman outfit. And if you guys recall, the fireman outfit increases your speed when you're helping survivors, when you're carrying or holding their hand. And it also makes you invulnerable to flame damage. So, Molotovs from these little A-holes up here aren't going to hurt me. Let's go 
Let's go check them out, actually. Because I'm certain they're still in there. Haha! -ha! Nice. Oh, it went right through both of them. Isn't that something? Okay, we can drop these handguns because they're useless. And then we'll ah, take a shotgun and a shotgun and a shotgun and a shotgun. So now that we got this, we can clear us a nice little path. This is probably one of the better weapons in the game. It says it combines with something, and I believe that's the pitchfork. I'm not 100% though, so... What did he drop? A money hacker? I don't really need that. What about you, nothing? Alright. The money hacker in case you guys don't remember, is you combine a flashlight with a computer, and then you it has a charge. It's based on a charge uh, radius. And you go up to an electric machine, ATM, slot machine, and sorry. You go up to an ATM or slot machine and hit it with that, and it'll give you the full payout that you would have gotten. Let's talk to Randolph. Hey, buddy, are you okay? Do I look okay? This is my life's work. This was my first painting to make it into a gallery, and no one... Uh, it's going fast. Read it at home. <laughs> No, no, you don't understand. It's not worth going on if such a fail. If I'm such a failure, if no one buys it, then I'll die with my dreams. You're kidding, right? I think you got your priorities. And then cut off. Three thousand bucks. That's how much my dream costs. Take it or leave it. And please, please take it. He reminds me of. I wanted to do the voice. Yeah. Okay. Depressing painting. Okay. Giving him a gun was probably the worst idea. And the painting had one... one hit in it. Jump kick. Jump kick. So now we gotta get this guy back to the safe house. He's got a gun, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry too much about him. It sucks. There's one of the one of the big things in Dead Rising games that's always so cool is you know they give you these big maps, but they don't leave you hanging. There's always warp tunnels and secret passages that you can unlock by either saving people or finding them yourself. Sadly, in this one, you have to do it by rescuing a girl who I don't have the mission yet, so. At least I think I don't. It's over there in that brand new. We can go check it out real quick. And if it is there, great. All I have to do is open it. Is that another looter over there? Thank God. I did not feel like dealing with that right now. Randolph dude seems to be doing okay. See, it's this stall back here. Let's see if it works. Nope. It's not unlocked yet, which sucks, because it just means I brought this dude over here for no reason. He's still got a gun. And it also means we have to go back through the long way, which isn't great. We'll make it work, but... It's just so much easier when you unlock that thing, and then you can just be like... Hey, let's warp from this side to the other side super quick. Because I think it comes out in another clothing store in the Royal Flush Plaza. Come on, Randy.
Good to go. We're good to go. Back to the Atlantica. Military arrives in 60 hours ish. Jump kick. Oh, miss. Jump kick. Jump kick. And then just jump. <laughs> Ugh, this way it's gonna take us through Fortune Park and then to Royal Flush. And then blah, 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 blah. I don't recall what newspaper combines with to make anything. And if I if I can't remember what it is, then it's probably not very good. I have the uh, the strategy guide for Dead Rising Two around here somewhere, and I'm sure in it has all the combinations. Ugh, looks like Randolph's getting swarmed. Where is he? I don't even see him. Did he, like, go in here? Oh, what the hell? Well, that sucked. Well, God, that sucks that we went all the way there to help that dude, and then he ended up getting himself killed, even though he had a shotgun, which is like one of the best weapons in the game. And I know the whole point is I'm supposed to be guiding these guys, but for the most part, they're not idiots, so they can usually handle their own, especially when you give them a good enough weapon. I guess he just got cornered or something, so... Sucks that it happened, but... I know there's a way to take selfies in this one. I'm just trying to figure that out. Slice. So, I guess we can go try and figure out what's going on with Two's company. Since we lost that one. Jeez. What a bummer. We'll go see what's going on with Tuka's company and then we'll call the episode. I just... God. To think I gave that dude $3,000 for that piece of junk painting and then he just died on me. Trash. Let's see what's going on over here. Got a hunk of meat, so there might be some dynamite in here. Nope. A hunk of meat plus lawn dart, maybe? Nope. Got two lawn darts. Oh, here we go. Dynamite plus hunk of meat equals... Alright. You guys know that scene. Give you a little demonstration of dynamite. They all swarm to it. And then... Kaboom! No clue what combines with... Maybe Lawn Dart and Lawn Dart? No. Anyway, now I got him. But let's try and get back to Two's company. Those trash cans plus something turn them into like... It's the best way of saying it. They kind of turn them into pinballs, except instead of left and right, they bounce up and down and just knock things out of the way. They're pretty cool. I'll try and figure out what that is again so I can show you guys. Like I said, I have the Dead Rising 2 Collector's Edition uh, strategy guide, but 
the thing is, this game added, you know, off the record added like 50 more items and, you know, like 25 new combinations, so. They are in the From Fortune with Love department. No way you are funnier. I've been telling jokes since you were in diapers. Yeah, I can tell your material is so old, it's in Sanskrit. Alright. Whoa, a living person. Yeah, just follow me. I can get us to safety. Hold your horses there, sport. You have to settle an argument first. You gotta be kidding. Normally, I make a living doing just that, but I'm serious. Me and my friend here are in town for the Fortune City Comedy Festival. We were both up for Comedian of the Year, but these zombies stole the show, and they are one hard act to follow. We will each tell you our best joke, and you give the trophy on the counter to the one you think is funniest, which is obviously me. If you do that, we'll come along with you, if you can stand up after laughing your sweet ass off. So, we're going to call it here. I'm going to listen to these guys' jokes, or I'll start the episode with having decided the I don't know. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.